Croatia offers many upsides, from nature and the coast to hospitality, safety and low living costs. But like all countries, Croatia also has its downsides, which we would like to take a closer look at in this video. As always, one should consider how to finance life in a new country. The average gross salary in Croatia is about 1600 euros and the minimum wage is 840 euros. The job market is also smaller than in many other countries in Europe, but more on that shortly. Although Croatia has developed very well over the past few decades, the country still faces several challenges, such as an unemployment rate of about 7% or the emigration of well-educated workers. However, if you move with savings or have a regular income from abroad or the internet, this downside will not directly affect you. As in almost every video in this series, bureaucracy is also present here. One of the biggest annoyances of living in Croatia is that you can't get anything done without dealing with a lot of bureaucracy. This is described in various forums as an essential part of your new life in Croatia, whether buying a house, starting a company or other interactions with authorities. The state has problems with efficiency in many countries and Croatia is no exception. Even something seemingly simple like opening a bank account is easier if you have a friend who speaks Croatian and can help with the bureaucracy. The best advice is to remain patient and perhaps take a deep breath more than once. The language barrier is another point to consider. Away from the tourist areas, English is surprisingly uncommon and the Croatian language should not be underestimated. While 60% of the population speaks English to some extent, there may still be situations where you can't get by without Croatian. It should also not be too much to ask to familiarize yourself with the Croatian language as it will accelerate your social integration and is also a sign of your willingness to integrate. The good news is that Croatians are very friendly and willing to help if you have difficulties. Tourism accounts for about 20% of Croatia's total economic output. And given the diverse nature and long coastline, that's not surprising. However, this also means that the coastal areas can become very quiet and almost boring during the winter months. Most bars and restaurants in popular tourist spots are closed from the end of October to the beginning of April, so you should prepare for a quiet and relaxed time during the winter months. It should be noted that life in Croatia in terms of entertainment is very seasonal. Some national parks are also closed during the winter months. On the other hand, this means you'll face much less traffic and life due to the absence of tourists is very authentic. The winter months also offer a good opportunity to see the coastal cities in a different light. As previously mentioned, the job market in Croatia is significantly smaller than in Germany. Specialized professions are less prevalent than in Germany. It is described as not very easy for foreigners to find work in a Croatian company, not least because of the language barrier and bureaucratic hurdles. So it doesn't hurt to save some money to cover a few months without work. Croatia's public transport system is not bad, but not the best either. You might sometimes wait a long time for a bus and should not be surprised if your bus or train is cancelled. Public transport is more reliable in large cities like Zagreb, and ferries between the islands usually operate according to schedule even in bad weather. Also, Croatia's roads are well developed, so it might make more sense to get around by car rather than rely on public transport. This also gives you more autonomy to explore the country's nature. Expect to gain weight after your move, as Croatian cuisine will not wait to tempt you. It is a fascinating symphony of Mediterranean flavors, traditional recipes and heavier fare from more inland areas and influences from neighboring Balkan countries. With the Adriatic coast, Croatian cuisine offers a rich selection of fresh fish and seafood. There are also hearty meat dishes like the traditional pika, a slow-cooked dish of meat, vegetables and herbs prepared in a special cast iron pot. Not to forget are the cheeses and air-dried hams from the interior and Croatian olive oils and wines that beautifully complement your dishes. Croatians also value fresh local ingredients, reflecting the rich culinary heritage and the Croatians' passion for good food. Did I forget a downside? If so, please let me know in the comments. 